Grand Trump Management uh, representatives. Thank you for uh, inviting uh, me also uh, to this uh, uh, program, Trump Vision uh, Trump 2025. Uh, the keynote speaker uh, has shared his experience at uh, Bombay, Hyderabad, Delhi, and other places. And uh, uh, the, our uh, airport man, uh, he was mentioning about the potential of uh, the airport development uh, in, uh, in Trivandra, or Trivandwaram um, airport. And I hope the listener, my friend Ajit, will uh, bring uh, people from all over the uh, state uh, through the Kerala to Trivandrum. So I thought, like, listen, I can concentrate uh, my talk on uh, the surface transport and the public transport systems in, uh, in uh, around uh, Dirvandwara. Before uh, going to the details of uh, uh, the, the, the potential, of course, a lot of potential is there. Uh, I just wanted to give uh, some idea about uh, the vehicle population uh, in Kerala in 2001-2002. We had around 28 lakhs uh, vehicles here. 21, 2011, 12, in 10 years' time, from 28 lakhs, uh, we, uh, the number has gone up to 68 lakhs plus. And uh, the year 21, 22, the number is uh, 1.48 crores, 148 lakhs. So the number is increasing. And uh, during the COVID time, or uh, after that also, we can see that one, the personalized vehicles are uh, increased. And uh, according to the National Family Health Survey in 2019-21, uh, recently it was published and it was circulated, uh, we found that one, around 24.2 percentage of the households in Kerala, they own a car. Around 58.2 percentage of uh, households, they own a two-wheeler, and uh, the bicycle uh, ownership is only 24.5 percent. Uh, maybe when you compare that one with Indian uh, uh, average, okay, our uh, personalized vehicle or the number is on higher side. So what is the effect of that one? That's what I just wanted to uh, highlight here. See, when we look at the National Highway Development in Kerala, we have taken about uh, 21, 22 years to start the widening of National Highway to, to four lane or to six lane. Uh, we started, uh, just started this year. And uh, of course, uh, we were arguing whether it should be 30 meter wide or it should be 45 meter or 60 meter. Uh, wide uh, right of way. But uh, the neighboring uh, states, they have gone, they have constructed uh, the National Highway Network uh, probably some five to eight years back itself, uh, and we are, uh, we just started. And uh, if you see the, uh, I just wanted to restrict uh, my talk only to the Tirundar city and what kind of the possibilities. See, in city, if you take uh, uh, the roads are maybe mostly two lane or uh, four lane and very limited, like let's say, the stretches we have the six lane. So, what is the effect of that one? We cannot widen that one. You can see that uh, the development that has taken place along the roadside. And uh, at least for the last 45, 40, 40, 45 years, uh, the same network is. Uh, uh, existing in uh, in uh, Trivandrum or uh, Tiruvannamalai, and uh, difficult to let's say uh, widen the road. So, in addition to that one, you can see that one parking is uh, an important and major uh, uh, issue in in our city. Of course, uh, you can ask a question whether, like, is the right of the owner to have 
a parking space, definitely, because we are all paying uh, road tax, and we should get a parking space. And uh, beyond that, let's you know the encroachments, uh, either uh, on the roadway, or uh, even on the roadway, you can see that on by park vehicles or other uh, uh, like uh, activities, encroachments are there. And uh, beyond that one, you can see that and we have a very good uh, pedestrian path or the footpath network we have in uh, Thirvandwar compared to many other uh, cities. But uh, the pedestrian footpath, of course, there's a lot of encroachments, hawkers or the other uh, activities. Because of that, then pedestrians are forced to move to the uh, paved area where the vehicles are supposed to travel. Then, with this uh, increase in population, in the vehicle population, and the limitation of our uh, uh, roadway or the other facilities, you can see that one. The end results are congestion. We yesterday, the inauguration. Uh, uh, it was mentioned that listen, in the city, if we can reach by 15 minutes uh, from one place to another, so we classify that one as a very good uh, city. But uh, practically in the morning and all, the peak hour and all, it is taking about 30 to 45 minutes to travel about uh, 6 to 7 kilometers. This is the situation. The reason is, uh, you can see that one good number of uh, personalized vehicle, especially the car, with uh, either the driver or maybe another uh, person. That means uh, the occupancy is only two. And uh, road space occupied by that car is uh, more. High fuel consumption because the speed is almost 20 or 20 to 25 km per hour. Pollution is increasing. And uh, above all those things, uh, the aggressive the behavior of the driveways or the road uses. And you can see that one that lead to a lot of uh, safety issues. As per our uh, 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 the statistics, we found that one in 2018 in the Rivandaram district, 5,529 crashes, out of which uh, 6,951 people are, uh, they were involved in uh, fatal or uh, uh, like uh, uh, major uh, uh, injuries. 2019 again 5,222 crashes out of which 6,346 uh, uh, like, uh, victims are there. Of course because of the COVID uh, issues and all in 2020 and 21, the number is uh, slightly uh, like uh, less but uh, it is not uh, encouraging. And uh, we have about 694 crash locations in uh, Tirundaram city, Tirundaram district, in which uh, most of the uh, major major portion is within the city limits or the suburbs of uh, uh, city. So uh, we should uh, seriously think what like lesson we can do to reduce the pollution, to reduce the congestion, or uh, to increase the speed or the journey speed to reduce the number of uh, accidents in the city. The urban mo mobility, uh, when you look, you quote, move the people rather than movement of vehicles. Move the people. So in that case, uh, we have to go encourage a sustainable urban transport to keep the automobiles off the road to the maximum possible extent for sustainable, healthy and safe living. So the policy which I propose, we should focus on to ensure mobility of people and not for the movement of vehicles. Promote public transport system in cities to reduce the share of personal vehicles. Encourage the use of non-motorized transport by providing safe environment for the people. And reduce po uh, pollution levels in urban areas through changes in travel practices. Maybe these four points I will uh, uh, elaborate. Uh, if you want to uh, promote the public transport system in Dirwandwara city, uh, we have uh, only the KSRTC buses 
and with the limited uh, private buses, public transport system. And uh, we have been uh, talking about uh, the other, uh, started with the metro, then uh, with the light metro systems and all. And we are at to start. We have prepared the CM uh, Comprehensive Mobility Plan must be in the year 2012 or 13, and uh, then again it is updated in 2016-17, and now uh, again we are in, uh, updating, but it will take time. That is what uh, uh, my feeling. A uh, lot of because other uh, metro which we started in Cochin, of course, there's a lot of issues are there. Of course, uh, people are questioning whether it is profitable or not. But I'm sure that there's no, no metro is profitable, and maybe Delhi or Bangalore or uh, Chennai, it is coming uh, maybe uh, not profitable, but uh, very near to non-loss, no profitable, no profit case. But uh, we have to travel a long way. And uh, there was a discussion like whether we can have a uh, bus rapid transit system in uh, Trivandrum but we don't have uh, the sufficient uh, roadway width for that one. That is again another, uh, uh, like a case RTC. Uh, in fact, they have given an assignment uh, to NETPAC and we tried that one, but uh, we don't have the space to accommodate an exclusive bus lane for that one. So here, uh, probably we have to go below the ground or maybe above the ground, LRT, or uh, some other system, uh, some discussions are uh, started. Only the elevated you know, solutions only probably is possible for uh, for Tiruvannur city. That is uh, from the terrain and the land availability, climate conditions. Another uh, point: Why we should uh, we should uh, move to the non-motorized uh, transport system, which I mentioned in the beginning. Like uh, we should think of you know, providing good uh, footpath, pedestrian path, good co crossing facilities, either uh, elevated or uh, underground, and the pedestrians also should be respected. And uh, other non-motorized transport vehicle, maybe the cycle, we have limitation. Not all roads we can provide uh, an exclusive uh, cycle track. There are possibilities are there. Uh, maybe the model like uh, the, uh, the coastal highway, where an exclusive uh, cycle track of uh, 2.5 meter is proposed. That uh, I'm not sure, listen, whether the city roads, whether we can have that uh, exclusive cycle lane. But uh, wherever it's possible, listen, probably we can provide that. Road. But uh, my suggestion is uh, keeping uh, the bus transit as the major uh, public transport, we should encourage the first and last mile connectivity. So why the 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 the, the uh, trip makers they are using their own vehicle is if they depend on the public transport system difficult like listen they have to walk to the bus stop get on at the destination bus stop and then again walk so if you provide a last and first mile connectivity to integrate that one with the the bus or other like uh, uh, the public transport systems which are coming up in the future that can be a good uh, solution. Then uh, another uh, point probably which we can consider is uh, uh, maybe use the latest technologies like uh, intelligent transportation system to manage uh, the available road space for the vehicles, intelligent transport systems. Maybe the think of, uh, we should think of the congestion, congestion pricing, parking uh, like uh, pricing, and uh, maybe even uh, if we can go beyond, like let's know if the number of carpooling and other things are possible, we should encourage that one also. And uh, I will uh, uh, conclude uh, my talk, my points uh, with the three C's. Now our uh, topic is sustainable uh, development, in which uh, I suggest clean, pollution free, leading to clean air and hence better health and living standards, convenient, seamless, safe, affordable, accessible for all sections including the elderly, disabled and connected, 
both in terms of technology as well as connecting key rural or the outskirts as well as the urban centers. Here again, uh, in order to improve the uh, public transport uh, uh, like a system, one difficulty which less than the, uh, or the uses, or the public transport uses are facing is they are not sure about the, uh, the uh, arrival of the bus or the availability of the bus and all. Probably this can be uh, through uh, the, like a public information system, this can be, con uh, we can be uh, conveyed to the, the people, those who are in need of that one. And the third C, congestion free, minimum congestion level and hence enhanced economic efficiency. Thank you once again for inviting to share my thoughts uh, for a uh, better uh, Thiruvandwaram, Thiruvandwaram city. And yesterday, the jeweler sir was also mentioning, we would like to move from uh, the diesel to the hydrogen electric or uh, uh, immediately to the hydrogen. Thank you very much.